So, I want to start a new way of doing my achievement guide series here, and it's going to be looking more at games that do a really good job with achievements and trophies, and games that do a horrible job. Because I, I, I don't think game developers and publishers really understand, like, how achievements and trophies can really make me love or hate a game. You know, in or even games that I love, it can make me love them even more, or hate, or just get to the point at the end where, in the end game of them, I don't want to play it anymore. So, um, Limbo here, beautiful, beautiful game by Play Dead. Um, it's got some really good achievements. I think there's 24, and um, most some of them are for I think uh, chapters and finishing the game. But then most of them are for secrets that you've had to find. Uh, it's a great beginning of the game, by the way. Very beautiful game, black and white. Uh, multiple like background renderings here. So there's like you can count one, two, three, four, or five different basically uh, layers. Five or six. There I go. Open my eyes. Wake up, buddy. Wake up. Wake up. I don't even have a name, I don't think. Um, so let's get our first achievement. This game's actually the first achievement's pretty easy. So what do you do in a game when you wake up? You move from left to right. Nope, let's go back. let's go the other way. Oh, there's a secret. Boom, that's an achievement. It's a secret achievement. So this game, uh, so it's about finding secrets, solving puzzles, gravity-based puzzles, uh, very precise movements. They ha do have their new game inside out. I do want to play that. I haven't played it yet. So uh, the hardest achievement on here, which is probably the only one I, you know, probably gave up on the achievements on this game, even though I do kind of like the achievement because there's a lot of people, it, it, the game, it's a short game, so the achievement kind of makes sense. It's play the game in one sitting with five deaths or less. Now, this game, you know, it's not like you, you, you don't solve a puzzle and you get another chance. It's you don't solve a puzzle, you die. So like here, I jump off this, I'm dead. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, nice. But, so, jump. So you you can see there, that's how long that jump was. I had to jump right at the end of that ledge. If there's any latency or anything, you're dead. And the first time I played this, I, I, I played it, uh, I was streaming it to my TV in the other room, and I died there. Another thing, blind jumps. Boom. I, you know, you couldn't see the ground. Where was the ground? Okay. You know, I thought maybe there'd be a secret down there. So, it's a really cool game. Um, I do think they do the achievements well. There's lots of cool, fun secrets to find. Um, the game's fair with your deaths. And I think that's why the five death run uh, makes sense. If the game wasn't fair, I, I, I mean, it can be frustrating because, you know, you can count your deaths like I already have one. And there's no way this run would do it. I wouldn't. I, you know, I'd restart. But I think this game does the achievements really well because of that. And I think it's an awesome uh, a guide to achievements. It's it's kind of Metroidvania in the in the in the sense that they do the uh, the, the the try to low death run. A lot of Metroidvanias will do a no death run, which is hard. But a lot of those uh, have kind of like save states or say you know you can quick save and reload. Um, this is not that way. You die, you die. You know, that's why it says one run through. One sitting, five deaths. Um, and it's this kind of thing where, like, if you have, like, if you haven't played it, what do I do here? So how do I jump up there? And maybe you give up. So it's the first time you're playing, you're like, I don't know what to do. So maybe I go back this way. And you're dead. Water kills you. You drown. Can't touch the bottom. If you can touch the bottom, you're okay. You know? Oh, but there's this little handle here. So this is just an example of a puzzle where if you didn't notice that handle, then you're probably jumping off the boat. And you're dead. The outcome of not solving a puzzle correctly in this game is dying. 
Um, great secrets, though. Really fun games. Jump too far down, you die. Um, but really, just looking at this game. Uh, great achievements. Really cool game. You can beat it in two to three hours. Uh, I think the first time I played it, it was it was closer to three. That's with some pauses and stuff and dying a bunch. I think I, I got stuck on one puzzle for like 20, 30 minutes just because I, I couldn't figure it out. Um, Play Dead, making great games. Inside was on a lot of people's uh, Game of the Year list. Uh, they do their achievements right. Uh, I'll have to look at Inside's achievements. Um, this is one of those games where there's a hard achievement, but it's fair. And I think that's what is cool about having good achievements is that they have to be fair so go play limbo